where tyrants ride high and govern with fear as the forces of evil conspire. Then from out of the night, a hero must rise with courage that even a mask won't disguise. They turn to Tell me how I look. Just as you did ten minutes ago. Well, tell me again. And five minutes before that, you look splendid. Good, good. First impressions are everything. I still can't believe you'd consider marriage to a woman you've never even met. Mm, marriage is a definite prospect, yes. But the purpose of the Senora's visit is to confirm feelings we already know are mutual. For five years now, the widow de la Pena, Francisca, and I have corresponded sharing our deepest thoughts. First our pens, then our hearts found each other. Oh, Felipe has sighted the coach. Coach? Well, it's an hour early. Quick, how do I look? You will dazzle her. Good, good. You are uh, Senora de la Pena? I am Francisca. And you're Don Alejandro? The same. Do oh. <laughs> you expect me to follow a lady into her chambers? You should have asked her earlier. Well, she was tired from the journey. Ask her now. I trust your rooms are to your liking, Senora? Quite beyond my expectation, Don Alejandro. Uh, the uh, north window frames the San Gabriel Mountains, uh, uh, whereas to the west, on a clear day, you, you will see the ocean. Excuse me, Senora. My father would love to give you a lesson on the local geography, but he refuses to ask a simple question which plagues us both. It's about the cameo, isn't it? Yes. Yes, 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 of course, the cameo. Uh, you were good enough to send me this, Senora. I did. You are not that lady. But I, I uh, cannot say I'm disappointed. I confess to the deception, gentlemen. Don Alejandro, try to understand. Five years ago, I was a young widow, lost in grief. And despite the attentions of others who sought my hand, Lonely. I joined our correspondence society and found there a man of honor, integrity, romantic imagination. You, senor, the warmth of our letters grew. We reached out and met each other at a level of intellect, reason, even affection that I had never experienced. So true, dear lady. But our letters could not tell me what you expected in me. I am many years younger than you, senor. And so very beautiful. Ah. <laughs> I wanted you to desire me for what we shared in our letters. You were testing my sincerity. The cameo is of my distant aunt, Cansuela. She is happily married. And the grandmother. Can you forgive me? Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> My deepest respect to your Aunt Consuela. And her grandchildren. After all, 
A man is promised silver. Will he refuse gold? <laughs> a toast, Diego. To a noble lady. Senora. To the ties that bind sympathetic souls. and his vaqueros, always causing trouble. Why now? Hola, Mendoza. Your men are disturbing the peace. Please, tell them to calm down. We've been on a long cattle drive. They need to have some fun. You tell them. <laughs> Lunch first, and then I will personally knock some heads together. Your concern is all over your face, Don Diego. But only natural. Don Alejandro and I have come together under unusual circumstances. To say the least. As a good son, you fear for his happiness. Letters are one thing, Senora. Marriage, quite another. He is everything I could desire in a man. And a husband. Thank you for your candor and your understanding, Senora. Please excuse me. Felipe tells me our prized bull is loose in the cow pasture again. Gomez and his vaqueros are up to their old tricks at the tavern. Well, let's see if Zorro can teach Senor Gomez a lesson in courtesy. And as much as it pains me, your drinks will be free. One moment! Forgotten your manners, senor? Zorro. On your knees before a lady. Please, continue. At least have let me finish my supper, Zorro. Now it is my duty to arrest you. But hasn't the Alcalde always said that a well-fed soldier is a good soldier? Very true. Well, then your duty, Sergeant, is to your supper. Anger brings a very pretty blush to your cheeks. Oh, anger never makes me blush. Alcaldi's man. I must go before Mendoza finds courage in his meal.
All right, Felipe, let's see what you've learned. Excellent. What a dilemma. How do I tell my father that the woman he's in love with is involved with another man? Perry. It'll break his heart, but I have to tell him. Tell me what, Diego? <laughs> Give it up, son. Try as you will, you'll never be a swordsman. Now, you had something important to tell me. Yes, um... The exertion has driven it right out of my head. Just don't hurt yourself with that sword, Diego. Alicia, warn the customers. We can't let this card shark be robbed by regulars. Is this again? I've had a run of luck. Would you do it? I can kill you here and now. If you swear to cooperate with me, you live. And maybe you and your man will get your money back. An Easter wedding. Isn't that being a trifle hasty? How ironic. It's always the young who are so impetuous. And they have all the time in the world. What if she's not the woman you think she is? Diego, your tone disturbs me. Do you know something I don't? Father, this is very difficult for me to say. Alejandro, dearest, I've been looking for you. Ah, senora. We were just discussing the wedding. Oh, we have so much to prepare. Precisely. Now you'll both have to excuse me. I have an appointment with my lawyer. Francisca has suggested a contract, and I have agreed. You don't trust me, do you, Don Diego? A good friend of mine, someone I trust. Saw you with your lover last evening. Can I convince you that what your friend saw was not what it appeared to be between Ramirez and me? Ramirez? Your lover. Once. I was younger, without parents. Easily seduced. Later I realized what a monster he was, but by then I was virtually his slave. My friend did not see a master and slave at the tavern. The truth. Two months ago, we were on a boat out of San Carlos. Ramirez luck was out. He was desperate. I regret to my dying day for having introduced him to a kind, open-hearted woman who told us of her correspondence with your father. Senora de la Pena. Her last letters with the suggestion of marriage were written by Ramirez in her hand. So you would marry my father, and this scoundrel would take over his estates. And the real Senora de la Pena? Ramirez drowned her off the boat. He's truly a murderer. He'll be at the tavern later. Have him arrested. I will testify to his crime. He will be on the next coach out. He will leave a gentle but firm message to my father, explaining a change of heart. Nothing, I swear. And surely I will be at the tavern. And surely Ramirez will hang. Let's go to the Pueblo immediately. Wait! Ring-necked doves, grouse and quail all abound in California. But not homing pigeons.
That's him! Fire! Dummy. Excellent shooting, gentlemen. But who are the real dummies? Now let's see how fast you can reload. On guard. match, but if he wins, we still have our job to do, so stand ready. I'll save you for the hangman. All right, men. Zorro is ours. Arrest him. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, Sergeant. Keep your eye on that one. The name is Ramirez, and he's a murderer. We'll have evidence soon enough to hang him. Senorita. Till we meet again. Till we meet again, senorita. Buenos dias, senorita. Adios, senorita. If we were able to meet for more than just a few moments, you would not always depart in such a hurry. Francisco showed me some of your letters. You made her very happy. And I only wanted to say if I met a man like you, instead of Ramirez, I think I would have been a better woman. Um, there's a widow in the next valley, uh, Morena Gonzalez. Well, she has a very pretty and very marriageable daughter. And I thought perhaps you and I could uh, take a trip Father, over there. Surely you're not thinking. Oh, not for me, Diego. For you, my boy. Babies, Diego. I want babies. <laughs> By the way, whatever happened to that fine bust you did? Well, I started another. Why? I thought it was very good. I'm afraid it received a rather critical public reception. Hmm. 